Alright. I do have a microphone, but if I have to stop... Yeah, I, mean, I just... We have a very funny audience. Uh, this game's called Emo Symphony. Emo as an emotion. I'm going to ask for an emotion for each of these people, and they're going to have a quick sound bite. When I point to them, they will make that sound. When I point to someone else, they'll make their sound. So, uh, simple emotions or states of being. Could I have a state of emotion for this guy? A state of being or an emotion? Sad. Excellent. Uh, state, uh, emotion or state of being? Slow. You said slow? Slow. Uh, state of emotion, uh, state of being for this guy, emotion? Crazy. Crazy. Uh, uh, an emotion for this woman right here. Happy. And uh, lastly, uh, what is your name? Rashia. Everyone, first give it up for Rashia. Rashia, uh, could I have an emotion for Rashia? Scared. You're really scared, so really loud. Excellent, all right. So they all have their emotions. Now we'll watch a little symphony. We got a couple people hosting a movie review uh, program each week, and they're going to get a movie title from you, and they're going to show clips from this movie. All right. So. What are you going to do? Because it became a musical. So they did a 
very special number. The number, it was at the top of a bar. I was quite impressed with the footwork. I was also impressed because the owner of the horses decided he wanted the horses to live. Who knew? Like, my horses are dying. I don't know what to do. What should I do? Watch it. So who's seen this game played on Wild and Out? Anyone watch Wild and Out? When it was on TV? Okay, this game is uh, kind of a, a rip-off from a few other games, but in the club. So if you're in the club, Sean is our bouncer, I think. So he's going to go outside quickly. Uh, when he goes outside, it's kind of like an isolation booth. Uh, Chloe, could you let him back in uh, so he doesn't suffer too long? Uh, and the following people in the club, I need... Jasmine, Amelia, Malin, and Marty. All right. The way this goes, this is going to get some, uh, some people that they are, uh, and they're going to try to get in the club. It's his job to uh, guess who they are. When he guesses who they are, they get in the club, and you guys clap to give them a little reward. All right. So, uh, could I have uh, a person that this guy can be male, female? <laughs> Uh, Kobe Bryant, it's all right. Uh, just the back two rows. Uh, could you guys yell out who you want this person to be? Back two rows. Monique, Beyonce, Monique, Britney Spears. Britney Spears. Uh, just uh, this side right here. You guys should come to you next. Well, she is going to be uh, an action figure in the form of Spider-Man. Right? So these people are going to try to get in the club. Sean, the bouncer, is going to come in and possibly let them in. Yellow. And? 
It's called Ding, uh, and Will and someone else to play it with them. Uh, they're going to be at a job interview, or if you want, uh, bring up two chairs. Up here. Bring up two chairs. Uh, they're going to be at a job interview, and they're getting to know each other uh, through a job interview, or if you want, uh, you can put them on a first date. So. Uh, The way this game goes is every time I ding like that, they have to change what they said. And they have to keep changing it if I keep dinging them. All right. So, uh, get some variables. Are you good? All right, uh, where can we have a first date? <laughs> Are they going to um, kill the lobsters so we can eat them? <laughs> <laughs> 
You know, Susie, I'll have to ask about that. I don't know. As soon as the waitress comes over, we'll ask about that. You know, I'm so glad we could meet up like this. I, I know that you've been coming to my basketball games all the time. I know you've been coming to my luge games. I know you've been coming to my raccoon swinging games. <laughs> oh, I just love that raccoon swing. You just take me swing it all the way out there. I know. <laughs> you've been a big supporter of our, uh, you know. You did that one time when your friend threw it and the raccoon hit me in the face. Oh, I know. But we it had to hurt. Take, we had to take you to the. It was very invigorating. <laughs> so, um, I think I'm gonna have. The lobster bisque? What do you think you're gonna have? That's my eye. That's my eye. good girl, man. Uh, I like 10 lobsters, 20 red. 20 lobsters, 72 lobsters. <laughs> wow, this is an expensive date. Wow, you're worth it. <laughs> I'm just not feeling this restaurant. Why don't, you know what? I think we should spend the entire night in Red Lobster. It's just that great. I, I want to powder my nose. I, I have to eat my 72 lobster. I'm not hungry anymore. <laughs> Waitress, can we get 72 go -go boxes over here? You know what? I just don't think it's going to work out between us, you know? <laughs> I think I'm falling in love with you, Susan. <laughs> uh, next thing we're going to do, I need a uh, volunteer from the audience. <laughs> Gentlemen, as if on the price is right, Alan uh, is going to be uh, a participant in this game. So here's how it goes. Uh, we're going to do a scene uh, from a day in Alan's life. Uh, we will decide, I'll, I'll play you and then Amelia will play someone else. When we're doing the scene, you have two options. If you like the way things are going, and um, whether it's true or not, but you like the way it's going or it seems like it would happen, you give us a ding. If we're off track, or you don't like it, or it just wouldn't happen in your daily life, you give us a, a honk. Okay, so if it's good, which one do you do? Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> if it's bad, what do you do? <laughs> Jenkins Intelligence. All right, here we go. All right, now, who uh, is someone you see on a daily basis, uh, daily basis, maybe someone in your family, someone that's important to you? Yeah. Who? Yeah. Just pick anyone. Brittany? Okay, Brittany, also known as Donkey. Okay, all right. Uh, Brittany, uh, a.k.a. Donkey, will be played by Amelia. And um, I will play you.
donkey. <laughs> hey, Brit Burger. Jasmine and Marty, uh, we're going to have a chair here, and a chair here, uh, and actress here. All right, this is called Foreign Film Dub. If you've ever tuned into a uh, Spanish uh, show, uh, these actors are speaking a uh, gibberish language. Just a bunch of noises, and luckily we have what they're saying, so when they speak gibberish, we'll have the immediate translation. All right, so uh, could I have... Uh, What's the name of this show you're gonna watch? This foreign film. Can I have an animal on this side? What? A liger? Okay. A liger and a, can I have a type of lunch meat on this side? Chickens lunch meat? Spain. Okay. This, uh, this foreign film that we're going to tune into uh, it somewhat has to do with uh, uh, Liger and Spam. And C. Yes, right, I got spam in your nose. <laughs> Take it. Custom. Custom. Take it, 
big monster. Oh, hug me. Gosh, don't my no no. Oh, I hope we stay together forever. Sit. Sit. So, this next game is a little difficult to follow, so uh, pay attention here. We have three pairs of people. One over here, one in the middle, and one on this side. Uh, each of them is going to get a relationship uh, that they have together or a suggestion from you. And starting on this side, they're going to step forward and start a scene for just about 30 seconds or so and step back. They'll step forward, start their scene, step back. And then they'll step forward and start their scene. Once they start their scene, these uh, all three pairs will clap during the last sentence and start their, continue their scene on that sentence. So, if their last sentence was, my socks don't fit, they might clap and step forward, and they have to continue what they were doing in their scene a little bit before with the line, my socks don't fit. You'll get the game. It's kind of difficult to watch, but you'll get it. So, uh, suggestions from the audience. Could I have uh, just over here in the front uh, a relationship between these two people? Mother and father. Mother and father. Mother and father. Mom and dad. Relationship between these people? Teacher and student, they took. And just uh, from the very back two rows. Back two rows. Siamese twins. All right. All right. So, Siamese twins, teacher and student, mother and father. And last sentence scene. Begin. Yeah, I know. He's even got the bolts coming out of his neck and everything. Yeah. Um, a little louder. Oh my gosh, he's got a little bit of dribble right there on his chin. Here, I'll get it. Oh, he just threw up on my shirt. Uh, here, hold just the like, baby. Just like Uncle Herman. <laughs> I'm going to scrub this off with uh, some turpentine. This <laughs> Okay, um, sweetie, I need to talk to you about these grades. They're really not up to par. So? Okay, um, rude. I don't <laughs> care. You know what? Your comic grades fell in two. You're a mother. Let's call yours, okay? No. No, we're going to do this. Because you're going to bang to the way too long. No, it's not. Why do you always have to be first? <laughs> That's why. God, you get born three seconds before me, and you think you're all that. Hey, it's not my fault. My foot was sticking out first, all right? It's so ridiculous, Sally. Just hurry up. We need to get to Kroger. God, why are we Kroger? <laughs> <laughs> so what do we get in Kroger anyways? We're not even Some hungry. Some cheddar cheese. <laughs> why are we getting cheddar? I don't even like cheddar. Some cheddar cheese. I don't have to. I have gumball. <laughs> what does this look like to you? Y'all like an elementary school teacher? This is how school. I'm tiny, you evil witch! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm sorry. 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 Sorry,
came from. I'm going back to Minnesota. That's it. That's what, what's it. in Minnesota? I hated Minnesota. Grandma's in Minnesota. I love Grandma. some stuff on some slips here, and we are now going to use them in the scene. Will and William, all right. All right, there you go. Uh, they're going to do a regular scene here in a moment, and uh, they are a moment going to set up lines and say lines, and they're going to read your slip as if it's part of the scene. Then they have to make sense out of that, and the scene goes on. The game is called Slips. because of the um, stuff you wrote on the slips. So, uh, so Will and Sean are going to play a game for you uh, that has a little time to it. They're going to do a whole movie, a uh, movie of your choice, a movie that just came out, or a movie everyone's seen, just a moment before the suggestion time. And they have to do this whole movie in four... Hold on with the suggestions.
ladies, hold on. I'm not going to take your suggestions right now. They're going to do... Teachers. That's what y'all get. All right, hold on. I'll explain the game, then I'll get you suggestions. So everyone understand that. All right, real quick. Uh, they're going to do the whole movie in 45 seconds. They're going to do it in half that time. Uh, then they're going to do it in half that time, all the way down to about one second. They're going to do every part of a movie, every scene, or, or close to every scene, and every character. So, uh, this side, uh, some movie suggestions. <laughs> Maybe so, maybe a lot of you have seen it, but if not, you'll still be entertained. The movie we're going to do is 300. All right, so, uh, 300, a uh, real love story there. Uh, uh, hold on, let me get the timer going. 300 in every part, take your time. 345 seconds, go. Oh my lord, what is a tribute of land and water? Land and water? Blasphemy! This is the blessing? This is Sparta! <laughs> <laughs> you must hide the gods, you can't go to war. I'll do as I need to protect Sparta. 20 seconds. We're going to war, we're going to war, we're going to war, we're going to war. We can find him in this valley. Let's go. Oh, he slayed like a thousand of us. <laughs> oh, he slayed another thousand. Ten seconds. Five seconds. I have no idea. Just like Emo Symphony, uh, I'm going to get some suggestions from you. They are going to tell a story. Uh, the story has to deal with your suggestions. When I point to them, they start telling the story. When I point away from them, they stop immediately. If I point to the next person and they repeat what the last person said, a word or the phrase, they're out. If they stutter, they're out. If they completely go blank, they're out. And the way they go out, it's very simple. You guys are listening. If they stutter, repeat, or just go blank, you guys get to yell the word die, okay? So, uh, we're gonna practice here, everyone together on the count of three, die as loud as you can. One, two, three. Die! Excellent, I don't have enough to do that the second time. So, uh, could I have uh, an animal you would find in a uh, zoo? I heard cheetah twice. Uh, just this side. Could I have uh, 
something that uh, we all just uh, can't do without when it comes to dinner time. What food do we like? I have pancakes I heard first. So this story somehow has to do with I hop pancakes and a cheetah, whatever the cheetah's name is. Everyone, before we begin, Courtney. A story about a cheetah and Bob the Cheetah was strolling through the woods one day when he decided that he really liked pancakes. So he decided to go to IHOP and buy the pancakes so he could eat them. And then the pancakes were taken away from him. <laughs> By the evil penguin, <laughs> Mistress. And she ate all the pancakes. But then, all of a sudden, one day, I <laughs> Bob decided to chase the penguin mistress. And steal the pancakes back. But then, all of a sudden, mistress, he started watching Happy Feet. As he was watching Happy Feet, he found out the secret. To <laughs> by playing happy mix music. Bob didn't know where he could find that happy beat music. So he rented the DVD on demand. Which is the best way to get the DVD. And he played the DVD all night and sang the Next game is called Emo Boxes. There are, are some emotions I'm going to get for you for the stage. They're going to do about a two minute scene. When they enter a certain section of the stage, they have to suddenly become that emotion. So, uh, before we get started, could I have uh, an emotion for this area of the stage? Aggravated. I heard aggravation first, so if they're in here, they're very aggravated. An emotion here. Thank you. I heard sad. Sad right here. Aggravated. Sad. Angry. Thank you. I heard paranoid. All right. Uh, someone really wants constipated. Right? So, uh, so. Aggravated. Sad. Paranoid.
Next game, uh, we usually do it at the end of the show, but we have some time, so we're going to do it now. This game's called Freeze. Uh, I'll start off the game with a person out here, whoever wants to. There we go. Uh, the way this game goes is we're going to get a suggestion from you in a moment. We're going to start a scene, and the people behind us will yell out, Freeze, in the middle of our scene, and we have to freeze in whatever position we are, even if it's like, like this, okay? And they tap one of us, take the position and have to start a totally new scene. They don't continue the scene. So, for instance, I am looking at the stars and telling them how beautiful they are. Someone yells, freeze! freeze. And then he comes up. Look, it's Superman! It's Superman. Yeah. 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 So it's a different scene. Excellent. Alright, so we yell freeze. Uh, if you guys start yelling freeze, it'll get too crazy. So, uh, since you've been yelling Napoleon Dynamite the whole time in here, um, we'll start off with that suggestion. God. Seriously, I need to go train for your cage fight. I need to practice for my dance. Napoleon, I don't want your cage fight. Watch out! Freeze! Alright. You ready? Come on. You wanna go? Make me wait. So it's not confusing, these people yell freeze. <laughs> Alright, so uh, another suggestion I've seen. We were we yell freeze, you guys watch. <laughs> Constipation, I'll take it. Okay. And see, oh, Grandpa, I'm gonna I have some softeners for you. Come here. Oh, Grandpa, you got really tall. Here, let me get your walker for you. There you go. Start your breakdancing. We have to stomp a yard next week. Freeze! 
So come on, get up. We have to go to school. I'm so tired of you just laying around. Get up. Here. I mean, 